Hello, Princess on a Pillow here. I am here to do a review on Little Women of L.A. Uh, season 8, Episode 8. Uh, this ti this um, episode is titled Hen Party Fiasco. Okay, it starts out with Tanya, Tara, and Jasmine. They meet up at Elena's house to plan Jasmine's um, bachelorette party. Uh, Jasmine apologized to Tanya for missing her hot dog party that was last last episode because she said she was sick, right? Tanya and Tanya told Jasmine about how the ladies questioned her about Ja. Uh, and Jasmine basically told the ladies um, to stop hounding Tanya about Ja. And for the first time, I agree with Jasmine because I'm sick and tired of them talking about Ja. Uh, so Tara is talking about the type of bachelor party she she wants, and um, she comes comes up with this unicorn idea. She's throwing out all these ideas, but she eventually comes up with a uh, she calls the party a hen party, and she comes up with a unicorn theme. So Elena asks Jasmine about her maid of honor, and Jasmine told her that she's not having a maid of honor. Um, I think Jasmine is not having a maid of, maid of honor because she doesn't want to have to choose between Elena and Tara. She want to keep the peace because I think she'd want to choose, even though her and Elena are best friends, she'd probably want to choose Tara because Tara is more involved and more excited about her vow renewal than, um, renewal than Elena is. Elena is not excited about it at all. So Tanya asks Jasmine, what do you need us to do to help? And Jasmine let her know that I want to do everything myself because that way, I, you know, I know it's get, being getting done. It's, everything is being get, is, I don't know how to say that, is being done right. Okay. And I agree with Jasmine because I'm like that too. I'd rather do stuff myself than delegate somebody to do something for me because it's not going to be done right <laughs> to my liking anyway or the way I want it to be done. So um, Jasmine said she um, doesn't want any help. She want to do everything herself. Because she, that's the way she is. She wants to make sure everything is being done the way she likes it. And I agree with that. That's, that's me. So um, Elena called Jasmine a bridezilla. And Jasmine was not happy about that. Um, so Christy and Todd. Next scene is Christy and Todd. They're at home. Christy um, comes downstairs and tells Todd that she just got off the phone with a casting company. And they need several little people. So she told them that she would do the job. She said it, it's an extra. It's a, it's a job as an extra. And she can't, she couldn't tell Todd um, about it because she signed a contract, I guess, saying that she can't talk about it. Okay, back to Elena's house. Elena um, shows the, the girls a copy of her children's book that she just received. She, she received it recently. They're asking her all these questions about the book. They're asking her about the, um, the, 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 the kids in the book, if, the, if it's a boy or a girl, Elena says she don't know. She's asking them about the name. One is Rex and Pix, and she doesn't know which one is the boy, which one is the girl. And everybody's shocked that she just don't know anything about the book. And then they ask her if she's read the book, and she said no. She said she just got it a few, few days ago. And everybody's shocked that she doesn't know anything about the book, she hasn't read the book, so she explains to them that it was the book was her idea and she approved the illustrations. I don't think she wrote the book, but she gave her input to the book. If I was Elena, Elena's annoyed because they're not seeming they're not excited about the book as she is. They're just questioning or asking her all these questions about the book. If I was her, I wouldn't tell them about the book until the book was completed and on the shelf. That way they can go get the book and read the book themselves and stop asking questions. But yeah, she's annoyed at them and I would be too. They should be supportive. That's their friend. Next scene is Tanya, Tara, and Mika. Yeah, Mika is in town. Goes to a bakery to find a cake for Jasmine. So they're tasting several flavors. And Mika says she wants to catch up on what's been happening. And Tara tells her about, tells Mika about um, Elena's book. And they trash talk Elena for a little while about her and her book. And then um, <coughs> Tanya says that Elena um, has been down lately. So that's what they do. They kick your, they, you kick your friend when she's down, right? All right, 
anyway, Mika um, wants to have male dancers. They change the topics. Mika wants to have male dancers at Jasmine's party, bachelorette party, or a hen party. But um, Tara told her that, you know, that would make um, Elena uncomfortable. So that was the end of that. So next scene is Christy's on video. She says she... Um, she said it was her first day at the um, shooting, and she she's pooped, but she's excited. Next scene is Jasmine and Tanya go to a flower market to choose flowers for Jasmine's vow renewal. Jasmine can't find the flower she wants, so she starts crying because she says she's overwhelmed. Here we go, Jasmine crying again. She didn't cry last episode, but she cried this episode. But she fully made it up made up for it this episode. She's gonna cry some more later. Anywho, um, Tanya, you know, talked to her and soothe her. That's what she wants. She wants people to talk to her and, and soothe her and come on. Anyway, next scene is Elena and Tara goes to a photo shoot for Elena's children, children's book. And the shot of the photo shoot turned out well. Elena is beautiful. She takes gorgeous pictures. Next scene is Christy and her daughter Autumn. They go shopping to buy a gift for Jasmine. Apparently, Christy had a shoot on the night, the same night that Jasmine was going to have her hen party. So Jasmine pushed the um, party back a few days so that um, Christy was able to attend. In this scene, Christy's daughter was very inappropriate. She picks up this plastic... Um, banana and said, um, oh, you guys can play the banana game. So Christy's like, what's the banana game? And um, Autumn says, it's like sucking a penis. And then she says, I usually win. And she goes, the trick is to breathe through your nose. That's just too much. She, she shouldn't have said that on camera. Anyway, um, Christy says, yes, that's too much information. Too much information for me too. She shouldn't have said that on camera. Anyway, Christy tells Autumn that she is tired from being on set in a costume, wet and cold. She says it's a little too much for her. And she says she's scheduled to work on the day of Jasmine's vow renewal. She says she doesn't know what to do. And then she eventually said that, she said, well, she said she did sign a contract and she got fitted for the costume. But a Pacific costume, so, you know, she has to be there. And then she says she's going to tell Jasmine that she can't be there another, another time. She's not going to tell her now because she doesn't want to ruin Jasmine's hen party. And I agree with her. I would have done the same thing. That's being a coward, but I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I would have texted her later after the party. Can't come. Sorry, bye. I would have done the same thing. Oh, hey, I would. It's the coward was way out, but yeah, that's what I would have done too. Anyway, now it's the night of the hen party. Tara and Tanya are at a house that they rented in the hills for Jasmine's party. The theme of the party is unicorn. Tara hired um, decorators to decorate. Mika shows up to let them know that she hired male waiters. Tara doesn't think Elena is going to be happy about that. Later on, they get dressed with unicorns on their head. Christy shows up. Tara asks her where has she been. Christy says she's been busy. And Mika says busy doing what? And Christy says she's been working on a project. Let me just... I don't think she can talk about it. I don't think her contract allows her to talk about the, the, um, the filming that she's been doing. So Jasmine and Elena shows up and they get dressed up also. It's, I think they're staying overnight. They rented the house so I guess they're staying overnight. Uh, so the party is ready to get going, and um, Tara makes a toast to Jasmine. They're t toasting with tequila and drinking. It seems like, seem like they're having a good time, everybody but Christy. Christy can't drink because she's an alcoholic, and um, she can't eat the sweets and the cake because she needs to lose 10 pounds so she can um, have her skin removal surgery. So she don't look like she's having such a good time. Plus, Tanya corners her and asks her, where the hell you been? And um, Tanya's an asshole. She's an asshole to Christy. And Christy says she has been working on a film as an extra. 
and Tanya asked her if the pay is worth is is worth her missing out on you know the things that they've been doing but they haven't been doing anything the only thing they did was to go over to Elena's house and discuss um the um the hen party or the bachelorette party and that was all Tara that was all Tara's idea and then they went cake tasting so um <laughs> where was I at so she really hasn't missed out on anything what has she missed out on now, so Christy told her that it's just an extra part And then Christy says to Tanya, well, you do commercials because Tanya is getting all in her face. That is that important? And also, Chris, so um, Christy tells Tanya, well, you do commercials. And Tanya said, well, commercials pay, pay big money. And well, Christy told her, it's not about the money. So Tanya's basically giving Christy shit for not being around. And they weren't doing anything that was that wonderful. That was, um... Jasmine already told them that she wanted to do everything on her own. So what the hell was the, what was Christy to be around for? And then Christy says, how many little people does it take to pick out a cake? I agree with her. She didn't need to be around. They weren't doing anything. So Tanya asks Christy if she's going to tell, if she's going to be able to make the, um, the vow renewal. And Christy says, as of right now, I'm booked. So Christy told Tanya not to tell Jasmine that she won't be able to make the vow renew renewal. And um, Tanya said, I won't, I'm not telling her shit. That's up to you to tell her. And um, Christy said, well, I'm not going to tell her now. I'm going to tell her after after the party. And um, Tanya said, well, you better tell her soon. So next scene is the male servers. They come in, and they're wearing no shirt, and they're wearing glitter all over their chest. Elena is uncomfortable, and Mika tries to explain that they are man servants for the night they won't be taking off their clothes and elena says they have no clothes so elena um, says she's going to the bathroom and she walks out of the room and she locks herself in another room i think i love elena but i think she's being ridiculous they're not gyrating and stripping and touching and doing it they're just servers sure they have no shirts on but they're just servers so i think she's being a tad bit ridiculous i don't like strippers either but these weren't strippers so, um, she locks herself in, in a room, and Tara used a bobby pin to pick the lock and open up the, the door. Meanwhile, Tanya is taking full advantage of the servers. She's getting, they're feeding her pineapple, and they're massaging her feet and her shoulders, and she's enjoying it. And so, Elena finally comes out of the room, and everything seems to be going okay. So, um, Jasmine and Tara, they're off, um, by themselves talking, and Jasmine asks Tara to officiate her vow renewal ceremony and um, Tara says yes and she's very touched that um, Jasmine asked her to officiate so Jasmine you know tells the room that she has an announcement and she tells them that she just asked Tara to officiate her vow renewal and everybody seems okay with it and then Big Mouth here comes Big Mouth Tanya Big Mouth Tanya says well Christy has an announcement too and um, poor Christy she's sitting there like oh my gosh and then She's basically pressured into telling Jasmine that she can't come to her vow renewal. So Jasmine's like, Jasmine's like, why can't you come? And Christy tells her that she has a job, a TV show that she's doing. And Jasmine says, then what kind of TV show? And Christy told her that she's not allowed to talk about it. And Big Mount Tanya says, she has been MIA for an extra part. So eventually they all go, go in on poor Christy. Because of Big Mouth Tanya. And I hate when everybody gangs up on one person. That pisses me off. I can't stand that. This is between Jasmine and Christy. You know, everybody should mind their business. So Jasmine gets upset and leaves the room and goes to another room and starts crying. More crying from, um, did I say Jasmine? Jasmine leaves the room, eventually leaves the room, and goes to another room and starts crying. That's what Jasmine does. Cries. Anyway. Christy asks Tanya if she can talk to her outside. And they go outside by the pool. And this is a scene set up. This is a set up. I think the producer set it up. They, they set the scene up. So they're by the pool arguing. And Tanya pushes Christy into the pool. And walks off. Jasmine and Mika, they're standing. Not Jasmine. Who was, who was it? 
Yeah, it was Jasmine. Jasmine and Mika, they're standing there watching the whole thing. So Christy gets out of the pool. She's cussing. She walks into the house. She grabs her bag and she leaves. She leaves right out through the front door. And I think Tanya is an asshole. With friends like Tanya, you do not need enemies. That was wrong for her to do that. Anyway. Um, that was the end of that. I think um, everybody should mind your business. This is between Christy and Jasmine. And Jasmine's father, you know, is not important. It's not important. She's already married. It's just a renewal. That's a big damn deal. Somebody can't miss that. And Christy is not close to Jasmine anyway. She's not close to any of these girls. You know, she's not. So I don't know what the problem is. It's just a setup. The, um, I think the um, producer set up that scene by the pool and told Chris, uh, what's her name? Tanya to push Christy in the pool. If the producers had told um, Tanya to push me, me in the pool, at the last minute I would have switched places and pushed Tanya in the pool. Screw that. How should I be all wet, looking all crazy? No. Anyway, that was the end of that um, episode. I'll be back next week with another review. Um, Princess on a Pill here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.